Mama says that life is like a box of cereal. Sometimes there's a prize inside, and sometimes it's just a bunch of bran flakes. You're cute when you're melancholy, Bobby. Cute is as cute does, Jackie. Why the long face in the suitcase full of foliage? Are you leaving, Bobby? My mama says that other folks' business is like a dirty sock. You should never stick your nose in it. I'll kiss you if you don't tell me. It all started the day Dad brought home the new computer. I've got great news, everyone. The Generics are about to go where no Generic has gone before. <laughs> cool. Can I bring my boyfriend, George? I'm talking about the future, Kelly. The 21st century. I'm talking about a state-of-the-art, cutting-edge, fully-equipped, brand-new computer! A computer? Oh, boy! Rad! Does it have a CD-ROM? <laughs> okay, so, like, does that have an autophone dialer? I just hope it gets the big-haired psychics network. <laughs> I heard that thing can be a lot of fun. Oh, boy! We got a computer! We got a computer! We got a computer! <laughs> What's a computer do exactly, Dad? Well, it's a, uh, a, 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 a machine that thinks fast. That's what it is. Oh, everything's done by computers these days, Bobbo. You know, computers control the world now. Controls? Or the world? <laughs> the world controls. Jackie! Jackie! Let's make a snowman! But it's summer, Bobby. I don't think so, Jackie. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bobbo. <laughs> the Sanchovi Aspic is a little tough to control. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh, gooey noogie time! Mmm! <laughs> Good. I tell you, Martha, this computer has absolutely everything. I can use it to keep up with a fast-paced world of pants right here in my own home. It may take a while to actually use it, though. There is some assembly required. Oh, no! When Dad say some assembly required, it always means that you're gonna have to wait a really long time. I'll help you, Howard! Like forever. I know my way around this stuff. You know, I was a copy machine repairman <laughs> for a day. Let's see, let me take a look at these instructions. Uh, this'll be a snap. Uh, parlez vous mon... No, let's see here. Oh, here. Ach, ben, mein air. But no, this could take a while. Uh, you know, we better take an anchovy sandwich break. What do you think? You know, there's a thousand ways you can cook anchovies, Howard. Uh, well, you can boil them, uh, you can fry them, uh, you can steam them, uh, you can fricassee them, uh, you can eat them out of the can, you, you can... Is it settled yet? If it isn't, can we just call somebody who knows how to do it? <laughs> you can put them on a tiny stick. Don't worry, Bobby. I, I was just about to turn it on. Uh, have you two been working all night? Ugh. Kelly, Derek, the computer assembled and Dad's about to turn it on! Generics, meet the Whippity Smart 9000. The state of the art, leading edge of technology, gateway to the future. It has megabytes, it has music, it has art, it has games, film clips, pictures. It can put you in contact with people almost any place in the entire world! What you see before you. My loving family is the dawn of a new age. Wow, a new age. <laughs> stand away from the computer. I said stand away from the computer. But, 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 but Dad, all I wanted to do was... I might as well lay out the rules right now, son. This computer is full of games and fun stuff, but it is not a toy. Aw, oh, honey, I think we just all need to remember that the reason we have this gee golly wonder of the world is so your father can keep up with that fast-paced world of pants. Oh. Oh, 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 just a sec, Howard. This Viking cooking network is just the gee golly pickled purchase pajamas is all. Be with you in a minute, Dad. I'm tapped into the skateboard online network. Excuse me, can you not see that I am interfacing with the totally cool virtual mall network? Let's see here, how do you turn this thing on? I got no idea, what does it say? What? Oh, oh no. Hmm. Now, see, hon, you move the arrow to the space you want. 
and click this little button, don't you know? Now, 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 rein it in there, for goodness sakes, Bobby. This is great! This is the most funniest thing I ever learned since Hide and Seek. America's number one most favorite game. Well, that's just great, hon. Now you be good while I get the phone. Does this count as a loan? Mom's right in the next room. Play with me, Bobby. Play with me. Play with me, Bobby. Play with me. Oh, don't even think about it. You made the right decision, Howard. This computer is a real center cut of ground round. You know, right now, Bobby and I are just whizzing down the information superhighway, don't you know? Information superhighway? Play with me, Bobby. Let's load him up, good buddy. Ten four, good buddy, Bobby. We are really good buddies. I smell trouble, good buddy Bobby. That's just anchovies. It'll pass. We're losing power, buddy Bobby. Hey, look! The Megabyte Diner! Looks like it's time to put the booter in hard drive. Bobby Jenrick, what do you think you're doing, young man? Well, there you were, Bobby, speeding down the information superhighway when your dad caught you using the computer. What happened then? How much trouble did you get into? Like my mama always says, Trouble is like a beanbag chair. It's a lot easier to get into than it is to get out of. From now on, that computer is rated H-O, Mr. Man. Hands off. Don't even think about touching the computer unless either Mom is with you or I'm with you, okay? Okay. Remember, son, I didn't buy this thing as a toy. It's connected to the real world. It's here to help me keep up with the fast-moving world of pants. I'm glad you have something to help keep your pants up, Dad. Oh, hon, he's just so cheek alley cute. Whew. Speaking of pants, honey, maybe I can finally get some work done on the computer now. Ah, uh, Ted. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, Howard. Uh, yeah, I'm playing this great game. Where on earth is Gary, Indiana? <laughs> Just give me two secs to save the world here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, you got me. Oh, come. <laughs> I got you back. <laughs> wow. A whole anchovy sandwich. Mm-mm. I wonder whose it is. Oh, I give up. Where on earth is Gary and Joe? Oh boy, I need a break. How do you pause this thing? What, what, what am I doing? I wonder why everybody sleeps late on Saturday, the funnest day of the week. I need anchovies, or maybe a nap. You know, we should get a bed in here, or a big can of anchovies. I don't know. How can I sleep late when I can't tell what time it is anyway? Oh, 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 oh that's a pain. Oh, oh, oh boy. Uncle Dad's up! Uncle Dad's up! Oh, boy! Push any button now, or the world will be destroyed in 10 seconds. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to touch the computer unless Mom or Dad is with me. 10. Ah! Uh-oh! Uh it's counting! It must be really bad! I gotta save the world! Oh! Welcome to War Search. I'm General Ted McMahon. Oh! <laughs> the world's most treacherous spy, Gary Indiana, has hidden rocket powered stink bombs in strategic spots all over the world. <laughs> oh! <laughs> your job, Bobby Jenerick, is to find those stink bombs and disarm them. And here's your first destination. <laughs> um, my destination? Bobby! Like, what exactly are you doing? 
Nothing. Uh, okay, like, have you been in the kitchen? What is wrong with Uncle Ted? Nothing. I'm up, I'm up. My dusty nation. I gotta find out what's my dusty nation. <laughs> This is worse than the mall. I will never find Gary and Diana. I'm looking for Gary and Diana so I can save the world. I was expecting your Uncle Ted. I'm the man from Uncle Ted. Gary and Diana has gone to the Great Pyramids. The Great Pyramids? I've already set the stink bomb! You're too late, Bobby Generic! What is generic? Are you getting in the Oh, oh, for crying, nurses of mercy, somebody call 911. Ted is un-G now and conscious. Uh, yuck. He's just sleeping in his sandwich, Mom. Whew. Oh, well, that's a knee slap and eye opener. Bobby, are you up, hon? No, I'm sleepwalking. Move on to another destination now, or the world will be destroyed in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bobby, honey, did you brush your pearly whites yet? Uh-huh. Even the back, back ones? Uh-huh. Leave it to moms to worry about your teeth when the world is coming to an end. Your next destination is Paris, France. But did your dogs burp? Hey, buddy, let them up on the winners, eh? Uh, sorry, uh, Pierre, I uh, didn't have any breakfast. Oh, now these French can really cook. Mm. Okay, oh. Gary and Diana is heading for the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? Where is that? The highest spot in Paris. And hurry, you gotta stop him before he sets the timers on all the stink bombs. The Eiffel Tower! Awful. Don't touch that doll! I'm in control now! One more really stinky stink bomb, and the world will be destroyed! Neat cool. Where does he get all those cool toys? Bobby, get in here right now, Mr. Manzi! I'm heating up the griddle for some delicious fiber cakes and imitation bacon! Move on to your next destination now, or the world will be destroyed in ten. Is this computer story based on actual events, Bobby? Honest is as honest does, Jackie. My mom always says the truth is like chewing gum. You can only stretch it so far. Then it's gonna break and get all mushed in your g golly hair. <laughs> I gotta save the world! I gotta save the world! If you're going to catch a spy, you've got to dress like a spy. By golly, everyone wears spy clothes here. Pardon me, would you have any anchovy poupon? Gary Indiana is headed for Big Ben to set the final stink bomb timer. Big Ben? You mean the bully in Miss Schleppman's class? No, I mean Big Ben the clock. Go off at 12.
love. Give it up, generic. That's generic. But I don't even know how to tell time. Bobby generic, it's time. Time for your G golly breakfast, Mr. Manzy Pants. If I go to breakfast, the world will come to an end. But if I don't, oh, Mom will find out I'm on the computer. After all, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'm counting to ten. One, two. Oh no, three. she's counting! If I tell them now, then Mom and Dad will find out. But if I don't, then they will find out. Pass anyway. the sugar-free syrup, Dweeb. But then it. But, but, but if I do, maybe Mom will know how to save the world. Bobby, do you want my fabulous fiber flapjacks or my crispy oat bran waffle cakes, don't you know? How can she talk about fiber when the world is about to end? Bobby, honey, what do you want for breakfast there now yet? I don't want breakfast! The world is coming to an end! Down. Toys have been outlawed. It's the end of the world, don't you know now? Look! Bobby, the ice cream store is open! End of the world. We're down to one flavor. Asparagus whip. Sorry, son. You. Oh, Bobby, I meant to tell you. Dad and I need for you to share a room with Derek from now on. Derek? We'll have loads of fun. Dork! I'm giving up pants. I'm going into dresses. Sorry, Robert, no time for noogies. Gotta go to work. No time for noogies? It really is the end of the world! Ah! What, what in the heck and gone world has gotten your shorts in such a twist, young man? Now, just tell your old mom what's going on here. Mom! Mom! The world's gonna be destroyed because Gary and Indiana has stink bombs! And, and, and I don't know how to tell time! Oh, Bobby, hon. The world's not coming to an end. You're just playing a computer game. The world's not coming to an end? Well, not until that father of yours finds out you were playing with the computer. So, Bobby. I guess you learned your lesson that when your parents say, don't touch something, they probably know what they're talking about. But why the sad song now? It's the same song, second verse. When I was playing on the information superhighway, I accidentally ordered a few things that the rest of the family had been using. What the? Hi, I'm Wanda Pandora from the Big Haired Psychics Network. Might you be Ted? Oh! Like my mama always says, Laugh is like stubbing your cheek all the toe. It can really make you holler. Well, thanks. That was our show. Bye. Oh, wait. I prepared a poem. But uh, we only have about 20 seconds left, Bobby. It's an important poem. I'll try to hurry. Well, can I stop you? No. Then go ahead, but hurry. These are words of wisdom. The one rule of life. I know it even now, though. I'm only almost five. If you follow this, everything will always be fine. Uh-oh. I'm really sorry. I must be out of time. <laughs>